Hello guys, welcome to Cat Question a Day series in which we discuss a question for cat every day. So today's question is based upon time, speed, and distance, and the question is here on your screen. Sanjeev goes from Delhi to Amritsar in his car in the following manner. For first half of the total time, his speed was 40 km per hour. For half of the remaining time, the speed was 50. For half of the remaining time, the speed was 60. And for rest of the time, the speed was 80. What was his average speed for the complete journey? So I am assuming, let us say initially when his speed was 40 km per hour, let's say it was for T time. Because the question says for first half of the total time. So I am assuming the total time to be 2T. So for half of 2T, that is for T time, the speed was 40. Then he says for half of the remaining time. So now the remaining time is T and half of that remaining time is T by 2. For that T by 2 time, the speed was 50 km per hour. Then for half of the remaining, so after that remaining time is T by 2. So half of that T by 2 is T by 4. So for the T by 4 time, the speed was 60. And for rest of the time, that means now whatever time is left. Now the time left is T by 4. For that time, the speed was 80 km per hour. What was this average speed for the complete journey? So here in this question, I can say I have the speeds, I have the time associated with them. And I also know what is the formula for average speed. The formula for average speed says it is the total distance upon total time. Total distance upon total time. I already have the time as 2t. I just need the total distance. And how would I get that? Speed into time is the distance. So 40 into t is the first distance. 50 into t by 2 is the second distance. 60 into t by 4 is the third distance and 80 into t by 4 is the fourth distance. This is to be divided by 2t as the total time is 2t. So if I solve it, it gives me 40t plus 50t by 2 that is 25t, 60t by 4 which is 15t, 80t by 4 that is 20t divided by 2t, 40 plus 25 is 65 plus 15, 80 plus 20, 100. So 100t divided by 2t. The average speed here is 50 km per hour. So right answer for this question would be 50 km per hour. Now that's a normal way of solving this question. But I want to discuss a good method of this question, a logical method. And I'm sure you would love that method as well. So I'll just erase all of this once and I'll show it to you that what do I want to say here. The total time is let's say 2t. The question said uh, speed was 40 for first t minutes. It was 50 for next t by 2 minutes. It was 60 for next t by 4 minutes. And it was 80 for the remaining t by 4 minutes or hours. We all know that the average speed is basically the average of the speeds if the time taken for them are same. I mean, if I travel some distance at a certain speed, let's say I travel, uh, uh, let's say for two hours at a speed of 50 and two hours at a speed of 60, my average speed would be 50 plus 60 by 2. But if the time is not same, in that case, I can't say it is 50 plus 60 by 2. Here the time are different, but with a little bit of logic, you can make this question easy. The speed was 80 for t by 4 time. The speed was 60 for t by 4 time. The speed was 50 for t by 2 time or can I say the speed was 50 for t by 4 time and speed was 50 for t by 4 time? I mean t by 2 time, I have broken it into two parts, t by 4, t by 4. For t by 2 time, he was traveling at 50. I can also say for t by 4, 50 for t by 4, 50. That's one of the same thing. Similarly, 40 was the speed for t time. So can I say 40 was the speed for t by 4, 40 was the speed for t by 4, 40 was the speed for t by 4 and 40 was the speed for t by 4. So now I have all these speeds for equal times. And in that case, I can say average speed is the average of their speeds. I can straight away say the average of their speeds is my answer. These are eight terms. I have to divide by eight. 44s are 160 plus 100, 260 plus 60, 320 plus 80 is 400. And 400 by eight will give me the answer as 50 km per hour. And actually, you will see the actual usage of this question when the numbers are a little bit complicated. Here, I have deliberately taken 40, 50, 60, 80. But if they are a little complicated, the previous method would actually make our job a little difficult. But here, you can do that pretty easily.
I hope you got the concept. Okay. So that was the question of the day, guys. And join us for the CAT D Day activities on CAT Day, that is on 27th of November. We will be there with you throughout the day for the analysis of slot 1, slot 2, slot 3. We'll also be giving you a CAT score calculator which will be accurately predicting your CAT score and percentile. We'll be also discussing some primary-based questions, expected cutoffs and all that. So join us on that day. That's all from my side, guys. Thank you very much. I hope you like the question.